I won't be able to graze the animals. It'll just be too wet and flooded for me to graze the animals. Day after day of rain, Allison today is thinking about feeding her chickens, turkeys, and goats on her family-owned small farm in Gibsonville. So we're having to bring in hay from either New England or from the Midwest. That comes at a price. If I have to start feeding hay in July or August because the pastures are so bad because we've had so much rain, um, you know, that really kind of throws off your whole budget for the year. The warm, wet weather also puts the animals at Asgard Farm at risk. Parasites are a real big concern with livestock that I'll start to get parasite outbreaks and lose animals to parasites um, because it's just too wet. One box, please. We've got about eight inches so far. 45 minutes away at the Hedgecock Strawberry Farm in Kernersville, John Hedgecock is dealing with the effects of the wet weather too. Picked a lot, but we threw about 90, 80 to 90 percent on the ground that we picked last week. It was his best crop in 20 years, but now he's watching most of his berries waste away in the water. And of course this week it's still raining and we're still throwing berries away. Yeah, they're just not good for human consumption after after they set water and get mushy. And if the rain continues... Well, I might just close up for the, for the season if it keeps raining.